Hey guys, it's Shanna and I'm a second year medical student. I wanted to address some frequently asked questions that I get from mentees and from people emailing into the blog. Um, first to start off, a commonly asked question I get is what is the path to medical school? So I think I just should first start off with acknowledging that there's a huge variety of ways and different paths you can come to medical school. So some people will uh, have a very straightforward path, um, like my path that I'm about to tell you about, but some people will have a much more complicated path or a longer path, and sometimes that's better because they get more experiences or um, they didn't really know they wanted to do medicine and they need to try out different careers. Um, yeah, so I guess to start off with my path, so um, in high school, I had decided that I really wanted to do medicine uh, for sure by the time I was in grade 12. Um, and because I decided then because we were trying to just choose our majors and what university to go to. Um, so then I had to kind of make my choice about um, whether or not I wanted to apply to something else and just choose a totally different route or if I wanted to do science and eventually go to medical school. Um, so I made my path uh, choice there and I'm happy with it. So I did that. Um, throughout high school, I just kind of studied really hard. I would say it was very, very quiet uh, but I was pretty heavily involved in a lot of things and I think it's a really good time to explore your interests, um, try all the sports you wanted to do, try out music. I think it's a really good time to fine-tune your study skills. Um, so I don't really think the marks that you get in high school are just zero reflection of how well you'll do in undergrad or whether or not you'll be you know smart enough for a medical school. So if you're not getting like 99% in high school, don't worry about it. Um, you can do anything you want. It doesn't really have a big reflection on your intelligence or who you are as a person. So I would still be, I would still encourage anyone, regardless of your grades in high school, to just kind of keep your options open and believe in yourself. Summarize, to go back to that, I would try as many different things as you can. Um, I did, uh, for the first time um, in my life, I tried hockey when I was in high school. It's totally late beginner as a Canadian, um, but I'm really thankful and that was a really fun experience. I probably would have actually taken it more easy in the studying in high school and relaxed and had a better time and had a fun time. I went to a high school program that offered a lot of leadership and outdoor activities and that was super fun. So we would go on things like ski trips and we went down to the States to a Shakespeare festival to kind of study Shakespeare and plays and that was super fun. Did I learn a lot about Shakespeare? No, not really, but was it really fun? I yeah, it was great. It was a great memory of high school. So I think these are the type of memories you want to build in high school because you don't have a ton of time uh, later on. So um, yeah, take advantage of that art and learn how to not study a lot, but learn how to study well. So this is the time where you can play around with knowing, do you like to like handwrite your notes? Do you like to use flashcards? Are you an auditory learner, more of a tactile learner? Um, take advantage of all this time and uh, basically freedom to fail in a way of high school. Um, that you can try around all the different study techniques and come up with a good way. Um, this is probably, you, you know, you don't have to choose medicine as early as I did. Um, I think a lot of people choose like much later than that. Um, but yeah, this is also a good time to start exploring careers, um, like shadowing. And um, I think a good time, if you really are interested in medicine, this is the time you want to rule out other things. So when I was in high school, I was still interested in, I think, business. I was really interested in I was really interested in social work as an option, um, but there was also some really totally out of the blue things. Like I really thought this, like music uh, management would have been interesting. Um, music therapy was really interesting, um, things like that. And I just kind of explored it and did, you know, volunteering or, you know, talk to different people and explore those. So I think another thing I would do in high school is just definitely, besides exploring your interests, explore careers and things. It's a very low stakes time to do a ton of exploration if you can. Uh, to high school, then I went uh, to undergrad at UBC. Um, and yeah, I applied to a whole ton of universities, spent forever trying to decide, and I ended up just picking the one that was closest to home. Um, yeah, I think I probably would have learned a lot more about myself and become a more of an independent uh, person if I had gone away for school, but it is what it is. Um, so I majored in integrated sciences. I integrated in pharmacology and neuroscience. Um, so for those of you not you see integrated sciences is this major where you kind of pick your own um, streams and you kind of propose your own major. So there is no official major called pharmacology and neuroscience at 
UBC. So I had to like propose it, find a supervisor. I found a supervisor in the Department of Pharmacology and I was like, I think these courses make sense together. And I kind of crafted a major to show that I had enough vigorous courses, um, how it aligned with my later career goals, justify why I was putting different courses in there and why some courses weren't in there. Um, it sounds like a lot of work, but it's actually quite simple. Um, if you um, if you get a mentor, um, they have a mentor that's like an upper year, say a third year or a second year that's already done this. Um, sorry, not a second year, but usually a third year or something like that that's already done this and they'll help you figure out the process. It's actually quite, uh, it just takes a lot of thinking about what you want to do and what kind of courses interest you. But I highly recommend it because it was a lot of fun to be able to take some courses um, from different places. So I had to take some arts courses because I was trying to get that neuroscience psychology component. And then I was taking all these like hard science classes because of pharmacology. And so, yeah, I'm really happy I did that instead of just picking one major or the other. Um, I guess one thing to acknowledge is that I changed my major like I think a good three times when I was an undergrad. Um, so I don't feel like you have to know your major exactly. Um, I had gone in thinking that I had to be a uh, pharmacology or physiology major uh, which was really popular at, uh, in my year when I went to UBC um, but in the end I didn't end up pick picking those I I'm glad I chose a uh, more alternate path and I think I just I had just gone in thinking those two majors would be good because they had they were known as um a lot of people who do these majors end up going to medical school and so I kind of wanted to pick something like oh everyone else did this there's something maybe beneficial about this um, I don't really think it is. I think it's just the type of people that ended up choosing that major were the type of people that um, would be going on to medical school regardless of what major they pick. So I don't actually think the major really matters. Honestly, I think you could major in any anything and you could be just fine. Um, I personally do think that science, having a science background has been helpful to me. Um, for example, like already having some biochem and immun immunology and some pharmacology has really helped me I think in medical school in the first few years just having a little of a basis instead of learning from totally nothing is helpful again a lot of classmates um don't necessarily have those and they do just just as great if not better than I do so um yeah I but I personally find it helpful so I would recommend taking some of those classes regardless of what major you have so kind of physiology anatomy some biochemistry Pharmacology, if you can get it, I think that's not something that's fairly available um, if you're not in a pharmacology major or an integrated pharmacology major, but if you can get some, that's really cool. Um, pathology class was really uh, cool and interesting. Think about um, getting some classes to prep you for the MCAT, which comes next. Um, so I think I have a post on that on my blog about what classes are really helpful for the MCAT, but things like physics, both physics are really good, the electricity and the kinematics. Um, also like chemistries, or take OCHEM, take biochem for sure. Um, basic chem I think wasn't a lot, but again, it's been a while since I took the MCAT, so I don't remember, but sociology, psychology, um, uh, biology, cell biology, and um, the other kind of biology, I forget what it's called. But in my second year of undergrad, the summer, I took my MCAT. So I studied for I think two and a half months. Uh, I took some time off after we had exams to kind of do some other things and then MCAT I think on July 28th. Um, it was it was tough and so I think that's a, a point where I had a lot of friends and uh, our classmates that were interested in well, and that was the point that was a big deciding factor for them whether or not they wanted to continue going on and applying um, because it's a big commitment to basically spend all day studying. Um, I think I would go meet um, a friend to study at the library and we were sort of like eight and then we would just study until like eight or something like that um, and it was pretty brutal um, just kind of just studying non-stop and um, I think I was doing that seven days a week I didn't take any uh, break days I think I didn't study during the semester I know some people recommend that I personally didn't um, I think there's just way too much studying already during the semester uh, for like a full course load so I just waited till the summer and it was it was fine actually I didn't always study eight hours a day I was also I was also working so I would there were some days where I would work and then I would go study um, holiday towards the MCAT instead of this great thing that's going to knock me down I decided to see it as this is my opportunity to show myself uh, my grades weren't perfect in undergrad. Uh, you know, I tried pretty hard and I tried to get the best grades I could, but um, there are some blips, uh, notably um, 
first year, uh, first semester calculus, I was struggling and it was super hard. Um, so I decided to see the MCAT. This is a time to kind of get the most killer score I can get um, to show, um, to boost my academic score as, pos as high as possible. So I tried to keep that positive mindset towards this as a chance to show myself and also to challenge myself to kind of take this test and do the best I can. Um, and I wanted to do the best I can, so I had as many opportunities to apply to as many schools as I could and give myself, you know, the best chance that I could. And that's generally my attitude towards studying in undergrad in terms of regular classes. Um, in addition to the MCAT was to think about giving myself the best chance that I could. Um, so I like, instead of just like, oh, I have to get good grades or I have to just kind of with that feeling of dread I think I thought of it more as this is my chance to bet on myself this is a chance for me to put in the work to make my own dreams happen um, and I'm really excited about my dream and so I'm gonna do everything I can to make my dream happen um, that is to say there were some times where I was like I do not want to study why am I doing this um and of course like frustration and things are just like thinking that some things are just so hard and why does it not make sense um that would be again first for semester calculus did not make sense um still does not make sense to me um try to think of the big picture like even if i this this is not going well like overall i would say like i'm proud i wanted to work to a amount that i would be able to say to myself i'm proud that I worked as hard as I possibly could and I wouldn't say it and then I, I couldn't look back with like oh I regret wishing I had worked harder best of luck and remember to you know take everything I say with a grain of salt I don't really know um I'm not part of the commissions committee so I have no idea um but hopefully you're gonna have an amazing experience in